Autodesk Revit Architecture provides powerful tools for conceptual modelling with form exploration and surface rationalisation. In this example, let's look at how we can sculpt the form of the terminal building. What I'm going to do is start by turning these guidelines that I've already created into a mass object. So using Create Form, you'll see that we then have a mass appear. With this, what I'd actually like to do though is sculpt the roof. So what I'm also going to do is just create an extrusion from the second sketch that I've created. So as you can see, pushing and pulling is very straightforward and easy. So what I can now do is take this and turn that into a void, like so. What that will do is cut a sculpted surface out of the top surface. So we now have the basis of one wing of our terminal building. What we can now do is take that and load it into a second conceptual mass containing the other wings. So I'm just going to use load into project and what you see now is I can place onto work plane and place my wing like so. Very, very easy, very straightforward to do. I can now take that and what I'd like to do is simply mirror the second wing like so. So I now have my conceptual mass built up for my terminal building. The next thing to do is to take that and put it into the project. From there, we can start to turn it into building elements and get an understanding of various aspects such as areas and volumes of that mass. With the masses now loaded into the project environment, I can start to extract information about those masses and also use them as the basis for my building elements. So the first thing I'm going to do is just start by adding some mass floors to the masses. Using my mass floor tool, I'm just going to select on which levels I want floors to be seen. As I do that, you'll see that on the right hand side, the schedule is filled out. And that will give me an understanding of, you know, am I meeting client requirements or planning requirements in terms of floor area volume? And that's really important at such an early stage. With that created, I can now start to add building elements using the building maker functionality. So I'm just going to go in and start to use my wall tool. And I'm using here wall by face. As you can see, I'm just clicking around the masses. So I'm selecting the mass face. And you know, if I update the masses, I can update the walls to match any changes that have been made. So very, very straightforward way of doing it, and a very quick and easy way of building up the building model. If we just turn off the mass, you can see there that I've actually got the basis of my building starting up. And I can add floors, I can add roofs, for example. With the mass information, I can also look at performing some early environmental analysis. In this case, I'd like to understand the amount of solar radiation falling onto the terminal building. Using the solar radiation plugin, I can just start to perform some analysis by first selecting the faces that I'd like to analyze. It will then run through an analysis using the location and climate data available to the software. As you can see, it then returns the results in the viewport. This becomes a very powerful tool at the earliest stages for understanding different strategies that can be employed to make the building much better performing. As you can see, Revit offers a range of conceptual modeling tools that can enable you to utilize the power of building information modeling from the earliest design stages.